private hospital group HealthScope appears to be in rude health. Net profits are up 37 percent, just shy of $100 million. And these could prove to be the final results for HealthScope as a listed company, the board having recommended a takeover by private equity firms. Here's Philip Lasker. HealthScope isn't having any trouble attracting customers. Its results show the private hospital business is the place to be. When HealthScope open new uh, private hospital wards, they can generally fill them up pretty quickly. And uh, the result is uh, they were able to grow revenue about 9% and uh, EBITDA 13%. So I think that was an outstanding result. After tax profit rose 37% to almost $100 million, annual revenue of $1.8 billion was more than 11% higher and the final dividend was also up at 12 cents a share. HealthScope operates 44 private hospitals across Australia as well as GP clinics and a pathology business. Hospital margins rose to more than 16% while pathology margins slipped to 15%. But HealthScope grew market share across all its divisions. The most impressive part was the company's growth in pathology. They've been uh, an aggressive opener of new collection centres around the country. Uh, and with some reasonably good cost control, they were able to grow that business uh, in what has been a difficult period for the pathology industry. Federal government fee cuts have seen pathology margins take a hit, but the consumer's reluctance to pay has given HealthScope's low-cost bulk billing model the edge over its more expensive competitors. It's played to HealthScope's advantage because we happen to be number three players. So, you know, when I talk from, from a company point of view, it's been extremely good and, and it, it, it's allowing us to really gain market position where we couldn't before. Analyst Stuart Roberts says despite the impressive profit result, HealthScope's $2 billion sale to private equity interests is still a good deal for existing shareholders. But he sees plenty of upside for the new owners TPG Capital and Carlyle Group if shareholders approve the deal later this year. I believe that ultimately close to 60% of the population will end up with private health insurance. Uh, and at that level, uh, private hospitals become a license to print money. And Chief Executive Bruce Dixon sounded like a man looking forward to printing money away from the public spotlight. The benefit of private equity is you don't simply have any interest in your six-month report, so you can fast-track things with, without you know, upsetting investors or the accessing capital and all that sort of thing. It's already there. And most think this won't be the last private equity deal in the healthcare sector.